Protests against police brutality continued across the United States over the weekend. The latest victim of this rampant racial police violence is Tyron Nichols, a black man who was severely beaten up by police officers in Memphis, Tennessee. 29-year-old Nichols was pulled up by police officers for alleged reckless driving. He died on January 10th, three days after the brutal attack. The protests against the police killing intensified on January 27th after the video footage of the attack was released. Protesters gathered in Dallas, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York City, Atlanta, Milwaukee, Salt Lake City and several other U.S. cities to protest the brutality of Memphis police. In Memphis, demonstrators shut down the I-55 bridge over the Mississippi River on January 27th. The urgency of us, what we're doing here, and what we're doing in every one of the spaces that we are in to move abolition forward, to move reimagining what safety looks like forward is so fucking important, y'all. We know that police absolutely do not belong in traffic stops, right? We know that police absolutely do not belong responding to mental health crises. And we know for a fact that police do not belong in our schools with our babies, I say. The New York Times analyzed the multiple contradictory commands officers gave Nichols as they repeatedly punched, kicked, tasered, and brutalized him. The Times reported that officers commanded Mr. Nichols to show his hands, even as they were holding his hands, they told him to get on the ground even when he was on the ground, and they ordered him to reposition himself even when they had control of his body. Nichols never struck back, instead attempting to shield himself from the blows. At one point, he began to cry out for his mother. I want to, I want to know the list. They always talk about their, their, their looking into it. Even though, <laughs> we got an oversight board. And they, they look into it themselves, right? Like they, 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 they trying to look into it themselves. And they, found that they find themselves like not guilty a lot. So where's the good cops? Don't tell me nothing about no bullshit reform. Abolish the police. Give me something else. Give me anything but this bullshit system because we keep us safe. The five black officers who beat Nichols to death were arrested and charged with murder. An unidentified white police officer can also be seen in the video recordings of the attack. This officer is Preston Hemphill, who was quietly relieved of his duty on January 30th, four days after the black officers were charged. It is unclear if Hemphill was fired or suspended with or without pay. Some speculate that his apparently more lenient punishment by the Memphis Police Department is due to his skin color. Tyree, as my comrade said, was 29. He was a father, a son, a worker, and he was just, as far as we know, being picked up, you know, in a, in a normal traffic stop. And these police officers, five of them, five on one, beat him senselessly for three whole minutes. Shame! Shame! This is a brutal and disgusting murder. Protesters also called for the shutting down of the Scorpion Unit. The Scorpion Unit, which stands for Street Crimes Operation to Restore Peace in Our Neighborhoods, was launched in 2021 to supposedly fight crime. The five police officers charged with the murder of Ty Nichols were part of the Scorpion Unit. Lawyers for the Nichols family stated that officers in units like Scorpion tend to focus on black and brown members of the community and feel empowered to conduct pretextual stops or stops without probable cause, saying they are proactively looking for guns or drugs. Units like Scorpion exist in many U.S. cities. However, these cops have been responsible for several of the most high-profile police killings, including the murders of Eric Garner and Amadou Diallo. The Memphis Police Department announced on January 28th that it would be disbanding the Scorpion unit, directly following the loud expression through protest of this precise demand by Memphis residents. No justice.